Hey there, Scorpio. Welcome to reading for the week of November uh, 16th. This week, if you want to catch me live, I go live every single day at uh, 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. All you have to do is subscribe, hit the bell, and you will catch me live. Uh, this looks really good for you here. Some sort of truth definitely coming out. It's crazy. All three, um, all three water signs had the Page of Swords in their first row, which is very interesting. If you're dealing with a water sign, I would go watch whatever their reading is, if it's Cancer or Pisces. Or if you have Cancer or Pisces in your chart, you might want to... Uh, watch those. Some sort of wake up call here as well. This is very. This last row is very interesting. We're gonna have to see uh, what that is about. But um, let's see what is going on for you here. I definitely feel like some of you could be dealing with a cancer. I feel like some of you could be dealing. Uh, you have this koi card too. You could be dealing with a Pisces. But I also am getting uh, Scorpio here as well. You have this Bobcat spirit says um, life is a mystery. So I do feel like that you could be dealing with some mysteries at this time. Yeah, probably um, in re in regards to needing to take the lead is what I'd say here with this energy. So sometimes I think like we don't know uh, what to do and we just have to take a lead. You have the chariot right here, which is and you have the two wands as well. Two wands is also a card of leadership. It's coming up in this row with the judgment card. So I really feel like some of you are needing to take the lead this week in your life. And, um, you know, there could be just a general lack of direction, but it's like kind of like the universe is forcing you to make up your own mind. Uh, you have this truth be told card. I do feel like there could be a truth coming out here. Yeah, it's going to be something that kind of pushes you forward in a lot of ways. Like I'm not going to sugarcoat this. I do feel for some of you, this could be like an uncomfortable truth that you learn here. Um, and I say this because you have the Five of Pentacles, the Chariot, and the Page of Swords here. So for some of you, this could be a truth that you find out like about a person. It could make you feel very left out in the cold with the Five of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles says, and you know, it could be something that requires um, you know, a recovery with the Four of Swords. For some of you, I feel like you're already going through this because this middle row here is your present position. I don't really use a spread. I always tell people this is a loose spread. This is past, present, future. Um, but again, I read intuitively. I read whatever pops into my head. Sometimes the future shows up over here and all sorts of stuff. But I feel like in the past, someone left you out in the cold here. Um, it could have been due to lying, cheating, stealing for sure with that truth be told card. But I feel like you have realized that you are in control of how you feel about the situation. And so I feel like for a lot of you, you are taking control. The chariot is a card of victory in some sort of win, but um, you know these two sphinxes here on the card can represent external circumstances like other people or you know a situation in your life that causes you causes you to feel sad. The five of pentacles says, "Do not call attention to weaknesses. Do not call attention to something that makes you feel weak." And I feel like this is talking about strength. Um, cancer had a very similar message. So again, if you are dealing with a cancer or if you have cancer in your chart, I would definitely go watch cancer uh, the cancer reading. But I feel like this is. Saying, you know, do not give energy to things that uh, make you feel weak uh, either with this energy. The Page of Swords, again, could be that you're dealing with a person who is toxic or just dealing with a like immature type of person is what I feel more or less with that card there. Uh, again, I definitely feel like there, this could have been some sort of uncomfortable truth that's come out in the past. Uh, next, you have this Koi card here. It says abundance, move with the flow of abundance. And, uh, you know, it says move with the flow of abundance around and through you. I feel like that's not, <laughs> I don't know, we're not going to go there. But anyway, uh, I feel like there's a ton of abundance coming in for you here, um, Scorpio. So I like to see that. Probably abundance that you've been waiting for for a long time. Be I say that because of this Four of Swords. And the Four of Swords is kind of like waiting for blessings. This person on here, you know, it's called a meditation, resting, relaxing, recovering. But this person here in the stained glass window is receiving blessings up here. And, you know, it's basically a person being blessed. So I do feel like there are blessings that you've been waiting for coming in for you here, Scorpio. Again, you have this two of wands as well. It's like you're taking the lead or you're charging forward towards something, I feel, here. The two of wands is, um, you know, this could definitely be a move, by the way. You have the tower here as well. Scorpio and the tower can represent a move or traveling. So I feel like some of you could be like moving or traveling with this energy or it's like you're moving on towards something new. Um, you have the six of swords as well. Definitely, like I said, I feel that a lot of you have gone through a rite of passage. I don't, I, I don't care if this is love. It could be financial as well. It could be business. Maybe you've been working on the same business for a few years trying to get it going. 
and I feel like the whole journey has been a journey. I feel like it has been a rite of passage, probably a lot of challenges, a lot of um, difficulties, but I feel like you are either you have built something that stands on its own or you are currently working to build something that stands on its own. You know, there are two wands here. This stand, this second wand back here stands on it on its own. The reason he is moving away from this wand is because he has completed something. He has finished a project or he has finished whatever he was working on, whatever this wand represents. So I'm not saying that you have finished something here because I actually feel more of like taking it to the next level here. If this is a business, maybe you've struggled for many years and it's like you're finally finding success. If this is love, it's like maybe you've gone through one bozo after another and it's like you're finally moving on to a real person who wants to be in a real like committed relationship with that two of wands. So that's uh, very interesting. Uh, now let's get into this last row. Uh, this last row is kind of a mystery. So we're gonna have to dig into this and see what it is. Uh, but you have the flow card here and the adventures card. Definitely could be some travel or adventures uh, coming in for you here with this energy. So I do like that. This adventures card is a very good card as well. And it can be a card of like abundance coming in for you. You have the tower, the judgment card and the ace of cups here. I personally, to me, I don't think the tower is that bad of a card. To me, the tower can represent holding on to something too tightly, and that's why the tower has to fall, because it can represent, you know, kind of clinging to something that we shouldn't be clinging to. And the top of the tower is weak. The top of the tower has to fall away anyway, so we can rebuild it. Um, but the foundation is always on the tower, you know, so it's like you're not rebuilding from nothing if you are rebuilding. Uh, to me, the, um, but again, having said that, I do not consider the tower to be a bad card. What I would say is that to me, when the tower shows up with the judgment card, it can represent a really strong, sudden revelation, a, re a real sudden realization about something here in your life, probably realizing where your true happiness lies or probably realizing where you will find true love with the Ace of Cups. And this could be in love, but it could also be maybe a project you want to work on or a business or something like that. So I feel like you're finding something that causes your emotions to overflow. I also am really focused on the fact that there are a lot of people on this card. I feel like this whole reading uh, could be saying that you are surprising people in your life by a, by a sudden decision that you are making. So I do feel that some of you are making a sudden choice or a sudden decision to do to make a change maybe you're going on some sort of adventure and i feel that this could just be surprising people in your life i'm getting a lot of stories here for others i do feel like this is saying like i just feel like this could be like um you know something that happens in the world I, I I would be very careful of the news at this time. I mean, just even looking at the astrology, I feel like we could be seeing a lot of crazy stuff going on over the next few years. And I would just be careful of like allowing those things to affect you. Uh, cancer had a very similar message. So I would just be careful of that. Um, but overall, this looks very good. I feel like this could be like the first step because, you know, the Ace of Cups, there is this dove that is bringing a Eucharist down into the cup. And it kind of represents taking the first step. The cup represents like the universe saying, hey, here's an opportunity for you to be successful. Will you take the first step? When you take the first step, the dove brings the Eucharist into the cup, meaning, you know, when you take the first step on something new in your life, that's when the cup will overflow. So I feel like for some of you, this is you discovering your true calling, your, um, you know, your true purpose in life or your true, um, you know, the judgment card is your inner calling. So I feel like you could be discovering your inner calling. I want to get more detail on this before we clarify so let's see what you are, uh, what this is here. Yeah, you have this Y card. We'll dig into that in a minute. You have the Ten of Cups, Fortune After Difficulty, the Page of Pentacles, definitely a new beginning uh, coming in for you, and the Two of Swords, Head Over Heart Decision. Again, that Two of Swords could say that uh, basically you are making a decision that could be surprising other people, Scorpio. She's making a head over heart decision, but she is, you know, um, there are new lands behind her. I feel like something people forget about the two of swords is that it doesn't say don't make a decision. It says make a decision to move towards the new thing. It could be surprising to other people, but you know, the things, things have been too much the same for her for a long time. She's sitting on a very hard bench right here. It represents a marble bench. Her, her ass hurts, as I always say, Scorpio, right, on this bench. And it's because things have been the same for too long in her life, the tower right here. 
She is afraid that if she moves on to something new, that she will be injured by these rocks that are in the water. But really, um, if she just took her blindfold off, she would see the rocks. She would see the things that could potentially cause her challenges or difficulties. It kind of says that you have to go through something or you have to experience something to realize that it's not that big of a deal. So it's like maybe you're wanting to start a business and maybe you're like, oh, I have to fill out all this paperwork and have an LLC and all this other stuff. But it's like, you think that, but it's like when you actually do it, you're like, oh, that was easy. <laughs> you know, that really wasn't that difficult. Um, maybe you're wanting to get into a relationship, but you're like, oh, I don't, I don't know if I want to allow someone into my life and all this other stuff. But it's like, you have to kind of go on the adventure to these new lands here, Scorpio, to have like a true experience to, you know, kind of find something that'll make you very happy with the Ten of Cups, Fortune After Difficulty, the Page of Pentacles, a new beginning. This wide card, I'm just getting curiosity. Page of Swords, all three water signs had the Page of Swords this week. Um, the Page of Swords is a card of curiosity, needing to be curious. I feel like you need to look into things, like look into new lands is what I feel like this reading is saying. Uh, this is a very powerful reading for you, Scorpio. Major, major uh, changes, I would say, coming in for you this week. So let's clarify. Uh, between the Five of Pentacles and the Four of Swords, you have the Ten of Hearts. This is called the Dog. Uh, it's a card of loyalty. And it's also a card of fortune after difficulty. So I do feel some of you could be like overcoming some sort of tower moment here. Uh, between the chariot and the two wands, you have the rider. I do feel for some of you, this could be someone making a move towards you. The rider is a knight in shining armor card. And uh, with the ten of hearts here, it would be like true love. So I do feel like someone could be making a move here, uh, Scorpio. And it could be um, true love. This could be someone from a distance as well um, with that two, two of wands. So... Some of you, you could be in a love relationship that's like long distance or requires traveling or moving. Uh, between the Page of Swords and the Six of Swords, look at this. You have the King of Hearts here. This is a very good love row for you in the Lenormand. Um, the house is like someone, again, could be from a distance, called the house, could represent needing to move or something like that. And you have the chariot here, but also represents someone who makes you feel like safe, secure, comfortable, protected, all the feelings of the home. So definitely could be love coming in for you. Uh, between the Four of Swords and the Tower, you have the Jack of Clubs here. Yeah, I would say no beating yourself up over the past. Um, the whip, the jack of clubs is called the whip and it represents whipping yourself in the back. And it can say that you are beating yourself up over just, you know, whatever, you know, past tower moments, things that you feel maybe were wrong on your journey. But again, I wouldn't judge things on your journey. It's like we all have tower moments in life. I feel like people do this. It's like, you know, we go through something and we regret it, whatever it is that we went through. But it's like, really, it's just part of the journey. It's part of something that we had to go through. It's part of the adventure, right? So the tower is just part of our journey. I always say the tower is very important. It's part of the fool's journey. It's like, you know, the tarot is a journey. It is like you are going through all the cards, right? You have to go through the tower, no matter what. Everybody does. So I feel for some of you, it's like just saying past tower moments are just part of the journey. Uh, between the two wands here and the judgment card, you have the stork. The stork is, um, you have divine counterparts here. Uh, the king and queen of hearts here. So definitely could be true love coming in for you here. Um, so I feel like this is true love. And again, it doesn't matter what gender you're attracted to. Uh, this is just love coming in. And between the six of swords and the ace of cups, you have the queen of diamonds. Uh, this is a card of called the crossroads. It basically says you have a choice between the past or something new. So I would just pick the new path there, Scorpio. Uh, between the tower and the 10 of cups, you have the clouds. This is called the king of clubs. Uh, again, all three water signs, I think, had the clouds. Um, it is a card of confusion, not being sure like what's going on in a certain situation. Um, I do feel like you know, what I would say for water signs, just based off of the astrology for you, Scorpio, is that maybe in the past you would do something like start a business or get into a relationship. And there would probably, you know, usually we, I think, have little clues that things are going in the right direction. Like, you know, um, we reach certain milestones in a relationship or whatever. Um, but right now with the astrology, it's kind of like those milestones are a little bit more blurry. It's like maybe we don't experience a relationship in the same way that we have experienced past relationships. So it's like we're like, eh, like you know, is this going in the right direction or not? It's like you could be questioning it. So I feel like this is just saying enjoy the journey. You know, enjoy, you have this flow card under this adventure card. I feel like it's just saying go with the flow. Um, <laughs> these two cards want to pop out. I don't take pop outs. You have the eight of hearts and the king of diamonds. The eight of hearts is the moon. And it is your romantic fantasies. And the king of diamonds is called the fish. So, uh, and it is your true soulmate. So there could be true love coming in for you here, Scorpio. 
But let's keep this going. Uh, between the Judgment card and the Page of Pentacles, you have the birds. Good news. Look at this. This is communication coming in for you here. I feel like someone could be communicating with you. This could be very shocking for you, Scorpio. Um, like someone could be shocking you, uh, communicating with you. Someone could be telling you they're in love with you. It could be an earth sign, by the way. Uh, you have earth and water are like the two things that stand out to me. But it definitely could be an earth sign with this Page of Pentacles. And um, it's like someone telling they're in love with you. It could be surprising. Uh, it could also be just good news financially. Uh, between the Ace of Cups and the Two of Swords, you have the Six of Diamonds. Love it. Uh, this is called the Clover, and it represents a lot of luck. So I feel like if you're moving on to new lands, like I said here with this uh, Two of Swords, I feel like there's a lot of luck in that for you. Uh, in your top row outcome, you have the Animus. This is called the Gentleman, and in this deck, they call it something different. Uh, but it's the Ace of Hearts, and it is your true love, like I said, coming in for you here. Uh, in your middle row, you have the Anchor. Um, the anchor is kind of like a card of commitment. Um, it is a card that can represent being stuck somewhere. So again, I would pick the new path, but it can also say you're pulling up your anchor, you're moving on to something new, and you have the star in the bottom row. The star is a turnaround. So I feel like there is a major turnaround coming in for you here, Scorpio, but it's a really powerful reading. I love this. So uh, this looks really good. So thank you. Enjoy your week because this looks really good. And uh, thank you for watching.